of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Welcome to SCTV News for Wednesday, January 17th. I'm Callie Perla. And I'm Juan Ramirez. Thank you to all the Cougar staff and students for making yesterday's evacuation drills a success. To the pro process of 10 minutes or less in each of the four blocks, these drills are important for the school safety so everyone knows exactly what to do in the event of an emergency. We have this fire drill all day long because there are different unique evacuation spots on campus and we want to make sure that our students know no matter which block they're in where they're going to evacuate to. The drill went very well today and we want to thank all of our Cougars and our Cougar staff for following directions. Uh, kids who were unscheduled joined the nearest classroom. Those teachers took them in. Uh, everything went very smoothly today and so a big thank you to the whole community. It is time to vote for this year's Golden Apple Award. This annual tradition asks for Cougars to honor a teacher on campus and ASB explains how to vote. Golden Apple is kind of just a way to recognize teachers, um, just to, like with outstanding work. So each of you is going to get a chance to vote for the top 10, which then it's going to get moved to Career Congress, which is going to get voted on again, and then it gets moved to an even smaller committee, kind of just choosing to make sure that the voting is even and fair to all teachers. Teachers who have been voted in the last five years um, cannot be reelected, and you have to wait like a five year cycle. Overall, just a great way to get recognized teachers for doing great things and being great to students. Cougar families return to campus tomorrow night for a two room two curriculum night. Your teachers have a blank schedule for you to fill out. Please complete your schedule, including room numbers, and bring it at home. This will help your parents and guardians to remember to come campus tomorrow night. Everything gets underway in the theater after 5.30, and then the parents are dismissed to follow your schedule. The deadline to purchase winter formal tickets is next Tuesday. Tickets are now $65 with an ASB card and $75 without. You can purchase your ticket at the finance office. Formal is less than two weeks away now. It is on the University of San Diego campus on Saturday, January 27th. The Steel Canyon Chess Club is inviting Cougars to take part in a chess tournament. If you're interested in playing, please scan this QR code and sign up. You don't need to be a member of the chess club to participate. All grade levels and experience levels are invited. Every Wednesday, SCTV News is partnering with the Special Education Teachers and Students in Room D110 for a weekly weather report. Here's what to expect for the rest of the week. Good morning, Cookers. My name is Morgan with your weekly weather report. This week will be partly cloudy with temperatures in the 60s. That's your weather report. Now back to the news. Raw, raw, Cougars, cruise, fry, get, get some! some. Yeah! The Cougars boys soccer team is coming off back-to-back -back appearances in the CIF championship game. Including a victory two years ago, this year's team is also setting some high goals for the remainder of the season, as Mitchell Schaefer explains. Last year, it was a senior-heavy team. We had 17 seniors last year and just some incredibly talented individuals um, who were doing a lot on the field kind of by themselves because they're just really, really good players. Um, graduating that group and bringing in a young group right now, we're starting at least three sophomores pretty regularly, um, three or four seniors depending on the night. So it's a really young team. Um, it's a team for the most part that hasn't played at this level yet. And so I think a lot of people were kind of thinking, oh, it's, you know, this is the year for them to rebuild and, you know, take things slow and get some revenge for what we've been doing the last couple of years. Um, but I'm just so proud of this group, man. It's a group that we recognized after a few games, like this is how we're going to have to play if we want to have success. And since then, everybody's bought in. That's three clean sheets in a row. We're, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best teams in the county. So far, our team, you know, we're working on building together more, more as a group, you know, a lot of, we had a lot of seniors last year. We lost a lot of players, but I still think we have a, a good, good group of guys, you know, as long as we come together and work as a team, you know, I feel like we can even be better than we were last year. Yeah, we work hard defensively and just need to put it together offensively, and then we're, we're pretty look, looking pretty strong this year, so. After going to CIF last year, they hope to continue that this year and go even further. I think we could. Uh, as, long, as long as we put our pieces together, what we're doing in our practice, you know, 
a lot of guys don't see that what we do in practice. You know, they just see what see what the results of games are, and you know, they obviously think, yeah, you know, guys, you gotta get results, but they don't know what we're doing inside practice. You know, they don't know what's going on, on the inside. They only see the outside. And as long as we we keep working together and stuff with those group of guys, I feel like we could do it. You know, we're just gonna try to work hard defensively. We put in some new tactics <clears throat> from watching film, and we're gonna try and score some goals. So we'll see how it goes. After winning the last game by two, this season is looking like an excellent season for the Cougars. Anyways, let's see what the coach has to say about this last game. Yeah, the game the game was great, man. The game was great. Um, going into it, I was a little nervous because we brought in a new system that we started running two games ago, um, and we've gone 0-0 in both of those games. We've created a lot of chances. Um, we just haven't been able to score on anything, and we've been playing some great defense. Um, so going into tonight, again, with a young team, you're just worried, like, will they keep believing in the system when it's not producing goals? And finally, you know, we get a little bit of luck on our side tonight, and some of those chances that we've been creating, we finally start converting, and we walk out of here 2-0. And you know, I just I can't be more proud right now. It's a great way to end the month and a great way to end the year and excited for January. That's all for now. For more SCTV News, I'm Mitchell Schaefer. Girls Water Polo is at El Capitan today, and JV is at 5, and Varsity at 6. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great week. Raw, raw Cougars. Cougar pride. Get some. <laughs>